the question does not say, I don't know why I put a plus sign there. The question does not say get a general term. I don't need a general term. Um, I just need to get to what this A, what, what year am I after? Have a look at the question. Nine. A9, right? The end of nine years, according to where I've defined this, A9 is the one I'm after. Okay? So looking carefully at how this number here, the N, interacts with these powers over here, that's a one. And then there's a zero on the end there, okay? How does this line, this expression here, how does it begin? I'll give you a clue. It starts with 100. Ashan, what do you think? Uh, oh, sure, yeah. In the previous sentence, you said that there's a zero. Wouldn't that be one then? Ah, okay, so uh, what I mean by a zero is it's 1.1 to the power of zero. So you can see there's a two, one, zero. It just counts down, okay? But because that is just one, that's, that's why we kind of don't write it down. Yeah? Okay, sorry, so if you're in the middle of actually saying what happens next. Um, if you add bracket 1.1 to the power of 9. Okay, let's pause power, here. Power of 8, sorry. Okay, this is so important. I'm, I'm trying to emphasize, because this is the place where we all, it's where some people's answers differed, right? I'm going to write down a number here. Where do I get it from? I'm trying to follow the pattern I already established. If this is 3, this is 1 less than that. Does that make sense? Why is it 1 less, by the way? Yeah, it's from, it's from the, the oldest deposit, the earliest deposit. But that earliest deposit came at the end of that first year. So after nine years, it's been there for eight years, right? It's the nine years take away the first year when nothing really happened. Make sense? OK, good. Uh, next term along, the powers are just going to go down, aren't they? Right, so that'll be a seven. Um, I need one more. It's going to be a six. And then what will the very last term be? It'll be 100 because at the end of each year, that's what happens every single time. Okay, wonderful. Now, this guy here, we can actually work with this. We don't need to put this all into our calculator. We've done this before. What should I say? It's a geometric. This is a geometric progression, right? I've got a series here. But you don't just want to pull out of a hat, go to the formula immediately. You must identify it, right? So I'm looking for three things. These are the three, the three features of every geometric progression. What's our first term? 100. Okay, now um, I can start on either end, can't I? Uh, we've done this before. It's going to be easier to start at the end because then I can say my ratio is 1.1. Um, were I to start from this end, I would have to be dividing by 1.1, not multiplying by 1.1 to progress along the series. And that's gross. I'd rather not do that. How many terms? Eight. Nice. Look really carefully, right? Now, again, this is another place for problems to creep in when we're counting, right? Also at nine. So, yeah, right. So you can follow this fairly easily. Have a look at A1. How many terms does it have? One. Look at A2. How many terms does it have? Zero. A3 has three terms. A9 <laughs> will have nine terms. Are you okay with that? Yes. So now I'm ready to pop this guy into the formula. Okay, can you tell me what the formula is and substitute in the appropriate stuff? What am I going to begin by writing? Have a think. Oh, you want the formula? I, I, want, I want the formula. I want the formula. It's 100. 100. Bracket 1.1 1 .1 to the power of 9 minus 1, bracket on top of 1.1 1 .1 minus 1. Nailed it. Okay, fantastic. This guy. Let me like, think of the answer. Hang on. You're, you're just doing some mental calculations for me. So, what do you got? Uh, at the one, carry the three. One thousand three hundred seventy-four number. Yay, Saran! Okay, nine five. <laughs> nine five. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was point. Oh no, jokes around. Wait, wait. No, I thought it was. It's seven. Five, seven, seven, seven. Right. Nine, five, it's five, 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 I got thirteen fifty-seven yeah, point nine. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen fifty. Oh, set. That's a seven. Um, sorry. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Happy times. All right. So, where's the hundred dollars? What hundred dollars? It's $100 at the end of each year, right? Mm -hmm. so, it's here. It was included in our JP calculation. Okay, wait, what? What's your question? I don't see the difference of doing it normally and then we're wrong for it. I thought it was. So the first time it's $100, then he gets it, like, applies interest, he gets it into 10, and then you add it to that, it's 210, mm -hmm. and you get 231. Okay, now guys, you're 12. Year 12, I get that it's the end of the day. But there's actually a really important question here I'm trying to unpack. And I can barely hear it. What's the question, Serene? 
know. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're distinguishing this from I'm some other situation. Tavar, do you want to try it? Yeah, but I have a question. So, like, if you put $100 every year, right, mm -hmm. and the ratio is 1.1, mm -hmm. when you, like, put T2 over T1, wouldn't it be um, your number with 100 over yeah. T1? Yeah. So, like, instead of, like, 110 over 100, it would be, like, 210 over 100. Okay, like, so, all right, let's think about this carefully, right? Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Tavar's talking about, uh, I'm not sure I get the numbers right, um, there's a hundred, yeah, that that's the first one, right? And then, and then interest happens, yeah. yeah? And then another installment, sorry, that's, that was, no, I was right, another installment happens on top of that, yeah? Which takes me up to 210, is that okay? And then it goes installment, interest, installment, next one's interest, so uh, that's going to be 231 and, wait, did I get that right? Yeah, that should be just 231. Okay, that's 10%. I can calculate percentages, right? Now, you're asking Tavar about doing some division, right? Now, what were you dividing this? I want to check what you were asking. Like right? so yep. You put like T2 over T1. But what if you put like the term with the 100 installment then over T1? Okay, all right. So, the question here is what's going on when we, like, we're building a geometric series, aren't we? Right? So, what happens when we divide one term? by the previous one, right? Well, it's interesting. You kind of get 1.1 sometimes. Uh, you get 1.1 here. Yeah, that's 1.1. You get 1.1 here, but you very do not get it in here. But why is that? Even in the way that I was building and writing this, saying this aloud, hopefully you can hear why you don't get 1.1 in that middle one. So, so why so not? 100 and then 110, but then you add the $100 on top of that 110, right? Yeah, so different, so different things are happening here, right? So what I'm going to say is I'm going to avoid this um, T1, T2 language when I'm talking about these because this is, this is not a GP, right? This is not a GP. Two different things are happening at the same time. Installments happen. That's an adding process. There's no multiplication happening. Geometry progressions are about multiplication, right? And then interest happens. It's really though only the interest that creates the, ge the, ge the geometric progression. Does that make sense? It's not the installments. So you gotta be careful when you think about what is T1 and T2 and T3, okay? These guys are T1, T2, and T3, not these guys, okay?